What's going on YouTube? It's Pelfrey. This is the Red Sea Reefer 250. I'll go ahead and plug the Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, go ahead and sign up for Instagram. It takes like two seconds to do. I'm at Pelfrey's Reef. P-E-L-P-H-R-E-Y-S-R-E-E-F. <clears throat> also, I have a website, pelfrey.net. Have some water. I got spilled over the top here. The Radeon fans just kicked on because I'm running a heavy white schedule for uh, this video. A couple things I wanted to talk about here. Um, I have the uh, lid off. Now I made this lid a while back and I have some plastic tabs glued on here so that it sits flush on top of the tank, but I have it pulled off of the tank because it's been forever. Uh, you know, I have, it's hard to see, but there's some sponges in the overflow here. Um, but I had some rods made like six months ago and I put the, um, some Ciparax on them and I've not pulled it out of the tank. Look at the Ciparax folks, just sitting in the overflow, doing its thing. I've got quite a bit of Ciparax on here. I mean, it sticks out. If I set it here, it's well above the, uh, 80 20 light mount. I have a couple of them in here. Um, I forgot how many I have in here. There might be, there's another one there. I don't know, there's a. There's quite a few of them in here. But yeah, it's doing great. And since that's wasted space anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and throw some Ciparax in here. Now, you can probably hear the fans. Do I need to clean the salt creep off the, the light there? Oh well, it is what it is, it's all good. I do have also Ciparax here. The return chamber is probably pretty filthy. And I cannot believe this is a JCOD, like the DCP 4000. And it's silent, folks. It's silent. Now, I do have plans to get go to um, Menards and get some more fittings. Lower the bulkhead on here and get the kink out of the hose here. And I'm going to get some black tubing just because you can see it's growing uh, algae in there because of the, the light bleed here. And there is still some dust on the, on the light there, but <clears throat> I do love this filter tray and I do keep um, some spare pieces in here. Now I end up cutting this piece a little short and you can see that there's coralline algae growing on it, but I change these out every day or two. Now the good thing is, is once these get clogged up, it's just gonna overflow into the skimmer chamber. So, you know, it's, it's a win-win for me. Now, recently I took this old hotel key that I have and I cleaned the coralline algae off of the sump and off of anything that I could reach. Now, the catomorpha in here is super, super thick. So I tried to clean as much of it as I could just because I was in a cleaning mood. Um, I also took off all of the um, uh, fittings on the sump here and cleaned them with uh, vinegar to get them cleaned up nice and nice and clean for me because uh, if you aren't aware, Kalkwasser will gum stuff up pretty quickly. And that's one of the reasons why I don't run it in my ATO down here. I've ran this Tunes pump right here for almost three years straight and I've not replaced it. You know knock on wood, um, I've not had to replace it, so I'm just running water through it. Got my calc washer, I uh, got a new gallon mixed up and I started using this one here recently. And I do dose this from time to time, some Chato Grill. And um, you know, I don't know if it, it helps, but you know, it definitely doesn't hurt the situation, but I keep an old shaker bottle under the tank. Basically I pull out the pinky floss here, throw it in the shaker bottle, and then take another piece and throw it in here. And the next time I cut it, I need to be a little bit more precise and make it just a little bit longer. But the Catamorpha is definitely, definitely killing it. This $30 light on Amazon has been phenomenal. And I just have it mounted up here with a L bracket. And I'm probably gonna change the mounting on this at some point to maybe some chain, some, some small chain and have it come up all four pieces come up to um, one piece that goes up and just make it a little bit easier in case I have to remove it and just get into this chamber. But for the most part, it's worked perfectly. And I'm also using a motion sensing 
um, light, which I have in the on position now. So I can turn it off, or that's actually in the motion sensing setting, and it probably won't motion sense because the cabinet door is open and there's quite a bit of light going on, but I'm loving it. The torch coral end up opening up. Now, I did a minor um, rescape of the tank. This piece of rock was actually laying here in the center and I set it on top of this piece of uh, uh, the Marco pedestal rock because I wanted more height out of that and I wanted the scully to get out of the way because basically the PP15 just blasts flow to the glass and it bounced back so I kind of wanted to get it out of the high flow area and hopefully that'll detract some of the flow that's going on in the tank. And I actually thought about scraping some of the Coralite algae or all of this Coralite algae off the back glass, but I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna keep it just because, you know, it's not hurting anything. So uh, the good thing, also another good thing is that I can mention on the Red Sea Reefer Series tanks is this grating comes out. So this side, the front side, the left side, and the right side, these pieces pop out and you can clean them. Now I cleaned this one recently. Alexa, who are you talking to? Um, I cleaned this one recently, so it's good to go. Now, sometimes this stuff will get stuck on, especially whenever coralline algae starts to grow on the, um, the sections here where it snaps in, and you can see I have some strange turf algae, and I mean, this stuff's been here for a long time, so I've just kind of let it go, but um, hey, if you're interested, I have serial number one two nine five six of the red sea reefer 250s now i don't know if they do that in the 250 series or if they just do that with all of their series tanks but you can see in here i have a ton of these little white i think somebody said they were like limpids or something i'm not sure what they are but they don't hurt anything but they just climb on the top of the glass and uh you know it is what it is but yeah there's um you can see it really good right there if I move my finger. There's some yellow sponges going on in the overflow box, like I said earlier. And anytime you see sponges, that's a really good, really good thing. I do have some water going down the overflow, and I think it's because I kicked up the return pump one notch, so I may need to adjust that. But with the lid on the overflow box, you can't hear it anyway, or I don't think you can. So, yeah, maybe a little bit. But I'm gonna take this piece of the overflow box off here in a second and run it under the sink just because it gets dust and salt creep on it. You can see it's got salt creep on it a little bit there and it's got dust on it. So I'm just gonna clean it underneath the sink and get it thrown back onto the tank. Now it's kind of strange how white the rocks look um, under white lighting. There's a mushroom floating around back there. Them things have grown well in this tank. And uh, that's just kind of where that one landed. And maybe it'll attach itself at some point. Um, the reason that it's over there actually is because that PP15 was so powerful and bouncing off the glass. And you can see this mushroom as that PP15 is doing its on off cycle. It gets blasted uh, quite a bit. Some acans. I've had this left acan. It was one of the first corals I ever bought. And, and um, this right one here come from pieces of the ocean and it's done quite well still waiting to see if the brain coral uh, recovers from its enchinata fiasco i believe it was just too close to the enchinata so i'm not sure yet um, if funds are available over the winter months i very well may um, look at purchasing some rock um, to put on this side of the tank and just cycle it out in the garage over the winter months since you know, there's really not going to be a lot going on in the garage anyway because it's going to be cold. Got the emerald crab down here doing its thing. I don't know if it's going to clamp on to this hammer coral or not. You know, I've, I've had good luck with the emerald crabs. Um, they, they, you know, I might shoot myself in the foot when I say this, but they typically don't mess with any of the corals that I have in the tank. They just keep it clean. And I did see a small bit of bubble algae right there in the middle of the frame so hopefully the emerald crab i used to have three i'm not sure how many i have now but hopefully that guy will go over there and find some of that bubble algae but let's take a step back here 
turn this light on. Oh, there's an inward crab right there hiding out. So I got two at a minimal. So we'll take a step back. So this is the Red Sea Reefer 250. As always, I appreciate you following along. Again, don't forget to check out Instagram at Pelfrey's Reef. Check out the website at pelfrey.net. I'll catch you on the next one.